the former co-stars, who met on the set of Game of Thrones in 2012, played TV's then-hottest on-screen couple, Gloomy Night's Watchmen Jon Snow and fiery Wildling Egret. Thankfully, while Egret tragically perished toward the end of season 4, real life has seen no such tragedy. The happy couple announced their engagement in the Times last month. This is exciting news, not just for fans of Kit and Rosie, but for the cast and crew of Game of Thrones too. Kit confessed on the Jonathan Ross show that he'd requested the show's filming schedule to be reworked to account for the upcoming nuptials, petitioning for production to be shut down for the day so everyone who worked on the show could attend. The groom-to-be joked that really it was the producer's own fault. I rang the producer up and I said, I'm getting married and it's your fault actually. I was like, you need to factor in a Game of Thrones wedding by the way. They the cast have all got to be there, so the whole thing has got to shut down. Despite the joyful occasion, more time offset for the cast may not be exactly what fans eager for the release of the show's final series want to hear. Despite Game of Thrones closing season being its shortest ever, with only six episodes, it's set to have the longest production run yet. Liam Cunningham, who plays Sir Davos Seaworth on the show, told TV Guide, The episodes are definitely going to be bigger, and what I hear is longer. We're filming right up until this summer. With weeks of editing and VFX to follow suit, the release date will most likely be pushed back until 2019. Looks like we're going to be spending over a year wondering whether or not Ormond survived the Ice Dragon's onslaught in the recent season finale.